So pollination in, by wind is more common amongst abiotic pollinations. Wind pollination also requires that the pollen grains are light and non-sticky so that they can be transported in wind currents. They often possess well exposed stamens so that the pollen grains are easily dispersed into wind currents. And the stigma is large and often feathery in order to easily trap the airborne pollen grains. So wind pollinated flowers often have a single ovule and in each ovary and numerous flowers will be packed to form an inflorescence. Now like this is can be seen in corn cob. In corn cob the tassels that you see they are nothing but stigma and style which wave in the wind in order to trap the pollen grains. Here we can see the male flowers of maize plant they are situated in the apex part and then below that laterally you can see the female flowers female fl flowers will have the stigma and style exposed to trap the pollen grains that falls off from the well exposed stamens of male flowers now here we can see the tassels that is stigma and style of the female flowers in corn cob.